Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and once again we're taking a look at the ASUS Transformer Prime. So uh, we had a short unboxing video um, uh, done, so we'll put up the link uh, in the description and the, and the annotation so you can check that out uh, after you watch this one. So this is now a closer look at the device itself. Uh, we'll go through the hardware aspects and probably some of the software if we have time. Alright, so let's uh, get right into it. At the front, um, you get a 10.1 inch screen, pretty standard for most uh, Android tablets. 10.1 uh, inch uh, with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixel. Again, no difference there. This is of course the TF201 version, not the upgraded and updated uh, TF700T version. Uh, the difference of course the 700 has, T has a, a better resolution display, it's 1080p on that one and of course it, uh, and it gets an updated and improved uh, GPS and Wi-Fi performance um, but you know this is this is okay as well I guess um, 10.1 inch uh, the difference between this one and the old transformer is that this one has a, uses a technology called IPS plus so that's supposed to give you a better viewing angle uh, a wider viewing angle uh, this one is up to 172, I think, uh, degrees uh, all, at all sides. So we'll test that out uh, a little later. Um, okay, so at the aspects of the device, you'll notice that on the Transformer Prime, the screen now goes all the way up to the the edges. Uh, with uh, with the old Transformer, you'll notice that there was a bezel. This is like a maybe a millimeter, five millimeter bezel something like that but there's no bezel on this one all the way to the edge it looks somewhat like an iPad uh, if you look at it okay and then one thing also we'll not we notice is that uh, now there's this like an indicator this arrow that points to where the oh, difficult to get that focus okay so this points to where the dock connector is and there's also this dent so we're not sure whether this dent is uh, there by default or whether we incidentally damage this device but so if you notice this dent uh, let us know I think it's uh, it's there to just show where the dock connector is actually I'm not pretty I'm not sure I think this we might have this we might have damaged this one but yeah just let us know if your uh, unit has this this sort of like uh, dent thing then it's probably standard but if it doesn't have then probably we damage this unit okay so other than that at the front you get a, a 1.2 megapixel camera we're not sure whether it does 720p again this is a fresh unit so we haven't really played with it a lot uh, we'll, we'll, we'll test it out and find out and let you know alright okay so that's pretty much it let's look at the back at the back of course you have this brushed aluminium uh, with the ASUS Transformer, Transformer Prime, both the uh, tablet and the dock connector is made out of this pretty premium uh, brushed aluminium. So at the bottom it's sort of like a linear finish as you can see but at the top part here is a circular finish. And uh, I think you probably notice it by now this finish is... Um, a very good fingerprint magnet and that's the reason I think ASUS uh, gave us this included this uh, um, cleaning cloth in the box itself because usually when you know manufacturer gives you all this extra stuff it's usually to cover for something else and by the looks of it it's covering the fact that uh, this the the finish itself is is very uh, prone to to catching fingerprints okay that's that about the finish. Uh, I just want to talk to you about the camera. So this is an 8 megapixel rear camera with the LED flash. It does 1080p videos. Video quality, we have some samples on our website but that, that, that's not from, from us. Uh, we got it from the internet. So again, we'll do some sample shots of ourselves to see um, whether this camera is really good. But from the sample itself, it looks promising. Okay, so let's talk about the other aspects. Uh, you get a single speaker here and yeah I think it's just one speaker looks pretty familiar don't you think if you're an iPad owner you probably know where this design came from 
Again, we're not fanboys, but we're just pointing out the obvious, so please don't kill us. Um, at the, okay, so 3.5 my uh, headphone jack here, uh, a microphone port here, single microphone, not, no fancy uh, dual noise cancel cancellation uh, microphones here, just this one microphone. On this side, you get a volume rocker, uh, HDMI port. It's, it's not your standard TV HDMI, this is a micro HDMI, so you need a different cable for this. Uh, and this is the micro SD card, so this, uh, the ASUS, just like the transformer, accepts expansion uh, up with micro SD up to 32 gigs. And here, this deceptive looking pinhole here is actually not a secondary mic, it's actually the reset button, a reset hole. So you'll, you'll need a pin to reset the ASUS. Transformer Prime. Okay, um, other than that, power button is up here. Oh, you can see that. Okay, that's the power button. Speaking of power buttons, okay, we'll power this up a little later. Um, I just want to talk to you about the keyboard itself. Uh, the keyboard, um, just like the original Transformer, uh, it's also a battery pack, so you can use this to charge your uh, your tablet and uh, that bring that extends the battery life up to 18 hours uh, roughly thereabouts uh, in terms of layout uh, not much difference there's some minute differences but you know if you're a first time uh, transformer owner you're not gonna notice it pretty much in terms of feel um, as you can expect because of the thin form factor right uh, you're not gonna get a lot of key travel but but it's uh, not bad quality wise again you know this uh, Asus is uh, us, us Asus is um, surprising us you know with 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 build quality just like the transformer uh, and the transformer prime uh, it's pretty good quality apart from a battery pack and a keyboard dock uh, this is also an extension so you get a full size micro uh, full size SD card slot here put in SD card to transfer your pictures and whatnot. Uh, a full size oh, a full <laughs> oh, come on <sighs> okay you have to okay there you go full size USB with a dust grommet which is uh, which is always good we always like this stuff Right, full size USB. Um, the problem, is, the the difference with the old transformer is that uh, the ASUS Transformer Prime comes with only one. Uh, the old uh, the old transformer had two uh, USB ports on its uh, keyboard dock. And speaking of that, uh, this doesn't work with the old transformer, so it's slightly different. Um, other than that, did I miss anything? Oh, of course, you have this proprietary dock connector as well. So you you can have your uh, tablet uh, docked to this keyboard and charge it at the same time. All right, so that's pretty much it. So let get let's get this thing docked and um, and switch it on. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this around so that nobody sees our faces. So it's pretty easy to dock this. I don't know whether you can get this, Mr. Cameraman, but all you need to do is just align the the arrows together and dock it in and it's locked so we have this lock here so to unlock it just do that it's quite quite hard yeah so just move, slide it that way and remove it okay again let's dock it in yeah and instant sort of like instant ultrabook sort of like two uh, oh there's a taper design here as you can see so that it angles the device slightly while you while it's on the table okay so it's pretty thin 8.5 uh, millimeters just a tablet alone I think uh, that's about the iPad in comparison is 8.8 .8 millimeters thin okay let's switch this bad baby on so the transformer um, ships with uh, honeycomb but 
Um, it's immediately upgradable to ice cream sandwich uh, because uh, Asus has released uh, ice cream sandwich for Trans Transformer Prime. So when you purchase your device, two things can happen. Either the retailer has already updated the unit for you or it will ask you uh, when you switch on and connect to Wi-Fi, uh, there will be a prompt to tell you to upgrade to ice cream sandwich. All right, so let's wait till that does what it needs to do. Okay, so uh, this is the Asus Transformer Prime running quad core. It's pretty smooth. This is pretty. Smooth. Of course, this is a new device, but already you know, this is something you can really like. Okay, so let's go into the settings. This this is already running ice cream sandwich. Um, let's go into settings. Uh, so so this is already running ice cream. Let's show you that. As you can see, there you go. Four dot up up a bit. Yep. The Android 4.0.3, so this is already running ice cream sandwich. Um, other than that, well, let's just start up some stuff. You can see the camera. It's pretty snappy, I can tell you that. Well, you have panorama sweep as well, just like in in the Google Nexus. Um, let's yeah, so you have panorama sweep. Uh, you have your video as well and I really like this with uh, with all the Android devices unlike the iPad where all the buttons the buttons are usually here so it's difficult when you're holding uh, with two hands so this is nice um, okay I think uh, I think that's pretty much it with regards to the first look at the at the um, Transformer Prime again. This is a new device for us. Uh, we'll go into the details later. Oh, all right. I just wanna. I just wanna test the the viewing angle. Let's let's just do that. Oh, first I gotta get this out. So it's quite difficult. Yeah. So let's. So this. Let's check the viewing angle out. Hundred and seventy-two uh, degrees. And it's yeah. It's okay. That works. I mean, you can, three people can watch this this one screen comfortably with that viewing angle. Let's let's try it this way. Oh God, that's already 180. Okay, 172. That's pretty. Yeah, yep. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. This is soyachinchao.com, and that was a look at the. Asus Transformer Prime. It's running um, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 right now. And as always, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, watch out for a review of the device uh, a little later on our website, soychinsha.com. As always, thanks very much for liking us. Thanks very much for subscribing to the channel. And thanks very much for watching. This is soychinsha.com. See you guys.